Well, I'm here in uh, Medgar Evers' home in Jackson, Mississippi. I don't know much about Medgar Evers. I was always a, a fan of Malcolm X, Martin Luther King, James Baldwin. Mr. Evers fought in World War II, survived, was shot dead right over here in front of his own home. <clears throat> in the United States. So he went to a foreign country and he got shot in front of his own home. And he was just delivering t-shirts that were opposing Jim Crow. Jim Crow must go. And what I think strikes me uh, about this house is not only, of course, the tragedy, but also just how humble this house looks. It's Martin Luther King's house is bigger. It's, Martin, I mean, Martin Luther King's house is just, this looks like it's a nice house, it's a comfortable house, but you, know, you can see that this clearly, this neighborhood clearly, I'll just take you next door. Clearly, this neighborhood has not been has not been gentrified, but it's also not on the same level as the kind of space to stay among the king had. This is the next door neighbors over here, and it's just uh, to think about a man who fought in a just war coming home and dying right here. I think he, from what I understand, he got out of his car and he was shot in the back with a high powered rifle, staggered into his living room. Either that or he was shot in his living room. I, I just, um, but he was shot with a high powered rifle. And I think this is the uh, photo. Yeah. And they call it an assassination in 1963. And he was shot again in here. That's what I thought. He was getting out of his car and his wife owned a Chevrolet station wagon. He owned a, an Oldsmobile. Again, very modest cars. And, you know, you look at a lot of other leaders, you know, some of them were a little bit more flamboyant, you know, you could see, you can easily imagine Muhammad Ali, you know, in a Cadillac and, you know, so on and so forth. But what I think really strikes you about Mr. Evers is just the humility this, that sort of <clears throat> encompassed his existence. From the house to the car, to his manner of speaking even. There is a, um, if you go down to the Mississippi Civil Rights Museum, there are a few video clips of him speaking. Like I said, I don't know very much about him. And part of the reason is because, you know, you, when, you, when you have somebody who's this humble, it's, it's not going to be the flashiest person that's going to get you the headlines. It will, be, it will always be the Muhammad Ali. Um, and of course, Muhammad Ali is one of my heroes, but you get the sense that there are a lot of people who've been overlooked in American history and as I was saying before, he, uh, he arrived late at that, that home. He arrived late here, and removed some t-shirts with the slogan, Jim Crow must go from his car. As he started sort of towards the door of his house, he was shot in the back with a high powered rifle. He drops the t-shirts and crawls towards the door. And I'm trying to figure out if there were additional shots that might've gone through the living room it looks like there might have been um, there. Actually, it looks like there was a rifle, so it sounds like there was just one bullet, and it pierced it pierced the wall that separates the living room from the kitchen. So other people were endangered as well in the house because it was able to go through his body and crash into the lower left pane of the living room window the lower left pane of the living room window. Um, so if it's over here, yeah, did it, it might have, so if he's over here, it, the bullet would have gone through and perhaps ricocheted through here somewhere, it looks like. 
um, I'll just show you the door. It's a very simple door. I actually lived in a place just like this. Uh, well, similar to this. Um, you can see again, I mean, they're not dealing with anything out of the ordinary. And when he died, his wife continued, continued the battle for civil rights. And again, you just sort of wonder what it is. Um, about a country that allowed Evers, King, Malcolm X, all of them to be assassinated. So if you're in Jackson, Mississippi, I suggest coming here. And of course, the Civil Rights Museum as well.